Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Odd Man Out. Se habla espanhol, há subtítulos disponíveis abaixo. Se você fala português, tem legendas aqui embaixo, é só clicar. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Stick around to the end to learn how to get a free trial of premium membership and check out one of our favorite classes. Now, let's get to the episode. How can you tell if someone is a Latino? Is it by the way they dance and the music they listen to? Or is it by the way they look or the language they speak? No me importa, chanque. Maybe it's by the food they eat or their passion for soccer. Go! We brought together seven Latinos. Soy Latina. Yo soy Latina. Yo soy Latino. Yo soy Latina. Yo soy Latino. Yo soy Latino. Yo soy Latino. One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll win a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the cash prize. This is Odd Men Out. Obviously, just from my face, you're gonna think, she's Latina? Like hell, like heck no. All I hope is that I don't get eliminated in the first round because I have so much to show people about Brazil. I'm gonna have to try to prove my Latino-ness as soon as I can. I'm very nervous, I don't like to lose. Hey, hi guys. Hi. What's up? Hello. So where's everyone from? That's the obvious question, let's start. I'm Puerto Rican, Mexican. We have a couple Mexicans here. My name is from Asaltos de Jalisco. I'm from Dominican Republic. I'm from Brazil, I, I'm the only one that speaks Portuguese here. Damn, I can't prove I speak Portuguese because no one will understand me. <laughs> I mean, it's similar. Do you follow Portuguese? Follow Portuguese. Yeah, I do. Argentina, Buenos Aires. Oh, you too as well? Oh, wow. You guys should ask each other's question to make sure. What province? Yeah. <laughs> what province? Province, yeah, so de Buenos Aires, eh, Capital Federal. And you, what about you, Tomas? <laughs> Me? Well, all right, uh, I'm living in the US and I was born in the US, but my mom was uh, from Martinez, Buenos Aires, and my dad lived from La Villaneda. My parents live in La Villaneda. Nah, you, yeah. you guys' accents yeah. are on okay. fire right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm living in Costa Rica and I'm actually like super excited because I feel like we never get representation like anywhere. Yeah. Like everyone knows like Argentina, uh, Brazil, and yeah. whatnot. Because Costa Rica's like Everyone. Puerto Rico, and like, no, it's different. Yeah, I feel the same thing about like representation is super important. So I'm like half Puerto Rican, half Mexican, but I was raised by my mom, so I, I relate more culturally with Puerto Rico. What about you, Miguel? Yeah, Miguel, I want to hear from Miguel. Yeah. The only guy that looks lighter than me. <laughs> my parents taught me both English and Spanish at the same time growing up. People speaking to me in English just think I'm white. And people speaking to me in Spanish just think like I'm Hispanic. Now, Tomas, you mentioned us looking white though. Do you ever have any experiences where people just don't think you're Latino because of like how you look? Oh yeah, all the time. People will literally like deny it to my face when I'm literally like, I'm Latino, like I speak Spanish. And they'll be like, no, you're not. No, you don't. And I'm, I'm like, how are you going to tell me? And Argentina has a lot of white people. like Yeah. Andre too, because I was talking to my friend um, and she's Brazilian and people are like Brazilians are not Latinos, but it's like, yes, it's in Latin America, the biggest oh, country. Are. I mean, technically they're not Hispanic, but they're definitely Latinos. Just talking English, everyone just assumes that I'm black. And then no one just said, uh, no one really ever thinks. That. And that's funny, because my girlfriend, when I came in here, that she said, why don't you be like the darkest person here? And I'm pretty sure she was right, so. <laughs> I went to visit New York, and I was curious to see like if people would think I was Latina or not, because I feel like I don't give off the vibe sometimes. Someone told me I was Asian. Oh, well, I can tell you that. <laughs> Yeah. All right, I, I, oh damn. For round one, I would say it was pretty hectic. I think they felt I was legit, hopefully. I feel like I didn't speak enough and I didn't speak in Spanish. I'm going to vote Miguel. Miguel? Miguel. He doesn't look at all as a Mexican. Miguel is way too obvious. Elki, you gotta go out first. You didn't sell me. Miguel? I am suspicious of Tomas. He showed up in an Argentina jersey. Could just be a fan. Angela, she would ask the question. We would answer and then she would build off what we said. So it's kind of easier to, you know, get an answer from that. The votes are in for round one. Right now. Bro, I swear and to the God. person eliminated this Don't round do it. is Don't do it. Miguel. What? Oh my God! Mm. Why would they vote Miguel? Bye, Miguel. Bye, Miguel. Yeah, I'm really bummed to be out. I mean, I was really looking forward to sharing my culture and talking about different aspects of my culture, and I just got round one. Dude. Round two. This is the fiesta round. You will each have one minute to tell us about your favorite cultural or family party tradition. I'm very nervous, but this is gonna be fun. I'll have to talk about Carnival, you guys all know. It's the biggest party in the world. Basically, three million people in the streets, 
and we are all dressing costumes and with our faces painted. We are all shirtless, like the guys only, the girls, <laughs> not, not all of them. We are high-fiving random people that we don't know, we are hugging people, there's a lot of kissing. There is also some problems about carnival, like you could get robbed, but it's okay, you will still have fun if you get robbed. Any city you go, there will be a party going on, it's crazy, that's the, the word to describe it. Everything he said, you can just learn from watching the movie Rio, the little bird flying around. So in Argentina, I mean, since we're like a pretty Catholic dominated country and all that, we all celebrate mostly Christmas and Navidad. He doesn't seem very excited. In Argentina, I've been there for Argentina and during Argentina, and it's, it's summer in Argentina for Christmas, so it's different. Um, there's fireworks going on like the whole night. We eat empanadas, there's usually asado, obviously. We take a lot of pride into it and we like to have fun. And mm, I feel like out. there should be something more uh, exciting, fireworks. especially yeah, with like football and stuff. Up. No matter where you are, you're more than likely gonna see fireworks. Do you know the different types of cuts for the meat for the asado? Uh, like different, <laughs> like different types of meat. I got you're right. Um, you're supposed to be saying. Nah, I mean, bro. Where's chinchulin? There's a lot of stuff. That's like that's more that's pork, suspicious. I know, but I can't give you specifics. I'm kind of blanking out. I don't know why. I mean, he didn't know how to answer that, so I don't know how to feel about that because I mean, there's a lot of cuts. Tomas is sus. The fiesta that my family loves to celebrate is New Year's. Well, a staple is asado, and like how I told you, there's like matambre, entraña, chinchulin. Okay, there you. Uh, yeah. so, but that's yeah. like the generic, right? She is definitely Latina all the way. For music, like we're known for tango, but really what's playing in the background is gonna be cumbia, like tch, 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 tch. like all our cousins are gonna be like that. And everybody is gonna have like the Messi jersey and it's gonna mm -hmm. always be playing soccer or football in their background. Latina everybody's gonna be like soccer. Ole, it's crazy. Ole, ole, ole. Like, that's like the whole house or yeah, Dale Campeon, yeah. Dale Campeon. <laughs> Messi. We're gonna be making chocotorta, flan, gelatina, oh, she knows what she's talking about. She's way more well spoken than I am. She was way more prepared than me, of course. Yo, if she's the impossible, I quit. So the thing about Dominicans is like they will find an excuse to party anytime, any day, it doesn't even matter. So it's funny because like in DR, even though July 4th and Thanksgiving is a holiday only in America. If they hear about it, they're like, all right, that's a good day to party. So <laughs> hey, we're gonna party that true. day too. We celebrate Christmas uh, December 24th, and then mm -hmm. we party all night long. Latinos never celebrate on the 25th, that's facts. We would spend the whole night, I'm talking about like till four in the morning, listening to music, dancing, bachata, merengue, salsa, tipico, bachata so all much. that stuff. And then we all wake up until like 1 p.m. the next day. Okay, so my favorite tradition is around Christmas time. We all know we love Christmas, right? So we make tamales. My grandma lives in a place called Venezia and she has like a big quinta or like finca. Wait, that's so cool. I'm like so happy someone said quinta. You normally get with your family and you make like a long table and each person has a responsibility. So one person puts like the masa and then the other person puts like the pork or That's some cute. people like to put carrots and bell pepper or chila. I really enjoy it because it's, you know, when you get to be with your family and you're all kind of like doing something all together, you have your music, you have your laughs and you have someone like scolding you because you're doing it wrong. Okay, the scolding part, true. So my favorite family tradition party is Three Kings Day. It's very, very popular in Puerto Rico. It's about two weeks after Christmas. You and your whole family, you go to their house, you're Christmas caroling, but Latinos style right so you have music <laughs> instruments dancing singing and then you have a big party you have food you have arroz con gandules you have all types of meat drinks we have coquito there and you just stay up all night sometimes She's you actually have coffee and pretty everything educated on this. and so that's kind of one of my most favorite family traditions turn party style i hope i did a good job representing my country i then asked a really good question which any argentino would know and i'm stupid for messing up because i don't know i just drew a blank i couldn't think of it angela talked last and shared less details about her story. I'm gonna vote Tomas because I think other people might vote him. Andre, I would have liked to see more about his family traditions. Tomas? I'm gonna just say Andre. Where's the passion, bro? No, I don't know, man. I'm gonna say Alki. We counted all the votes for round two and we have a tie between oh, no. Andre oh, and Tomas. I knew I would be telling it. These people are crazy. <laughs> we will go into a tiebreaker where each of you will have 20 seconds to state your case. Tomas, you're up first. I understand why you might have chosen me, and I did mess up on something pretty stupid, which was uh, <laughs> the meat cuts and all that of asado and dumb. Yeah, obviously. Oh, you already know what he's about to get voted off for. <laughs> oh no, I feel so bad. But Aileen knows for a fact 
that there's some things that somebody that's not from Argentina would have said. And I don't know, I feel like we could we as soon as her and I started speaking, we like connected, you guys could tell. So. <laughs> Eu sei que eu não pareço brasileiro, mas eu sou brasileiro, eu estou falando português okay. agora, espero que vocês estejam me entendendo. E eu não sei por que vocês não acham que eu sou brasileiro. É loucura Man, votar em mim, mas tudo bem. Okay, o, okay, o Tomás okay. também não parece que... ele parece que ele é argentino, então eu também não sei por que vocês votaram na gente. That's basically what I said. I hope you guys understood. <laughs> Just because you speak Portuguese doesn't make you Brazilian. I'm gonna still vote Tomás. Andre. I'm voting Andre. Tomás, don't let me down, man. I'm quite upset that I'm in this predicament because they already know that they're going to choose me. We have counted mm. all the votes and the person eliminated this round is... <laughs> oh. oh my God, my heart. Andre. Oh. Yes. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> I think they connected better in terms of culture. That is crazy. For the first time in my life, I've been accepted into the Latino community. So I feel like the biggest misconception that I get is the language and the accent. I lived in the United States illegally for a while, so I lost a little bit of Spanish, and I feel like I knew, met a lot of Latinos who didn't speak Spanish. So a lot of people are like, oh, if you don't speak Spanish, you're not Latino, right? And I'm like, no. And then, since I do speak fluent English, guys like expect me to have a sexy Latina accent, and I'm like, no, I speak fluent English. That doesn't make me less of a Latina. Just from looking at my face, yeah, I, I am Korean, I'm Asian. Uh, my grandparents, my parents are all from Korea, but they all lived in Argentina for 30 years, and I was born there, I lived there for 15 years. Even there, people used to always call me like, I so una chinita, which means like, oh, like you're an Asian chick, like you don't belong here. And even here in the US, when I do speak Spanish, they're like, why are you speaking Spanish? Like, who let you speak Spanish? And I'm like, excuse me, like, and so I think that's a really big misconception that just because you look Asian, because you might not look like a standard person who comes from Latin America, that you can't be Latina, Latino, Latinx, and that you always have to speak Spanish. But you really don't. I think it's the culture that matters, um, the music, what you share with others. So, yeah. All right. First of all, the, the misconception about like all Dominicans is the fact that none of them want to take the knowledge that they have any African descent. Okay, like, you mentioned so to any Dominican that, like, oh, Oh, like you are you have black in you right they're like no no i'm not i'm not black i'm not black your skin tone your hair everything you have african descent in you you have to acknowledge it colorism and racism in the latino community is huge it's a problem i didn't grow up speaking spanish and it wasn't until middle school that i took spanish classes and so i always passively knew it but never actively got the chance to learn it sometimes you feel like oh i might not be latinx enough or latina enough because i don't speak fluent spanish the main thing i want to talk about really is just like emphasis Emphasizing that there's not one cookie cutter of what it means to be Latina as long as you share yes, like valued yes, yes. and like communities you, all Akira. of that is really important Okay, I have something super funny to ask Vacunas uh, Do you guys uh, have I have thing. Oh my yeah. god Birthmark Vacuna I am so jealous. I tell my mom that that's so crazy you said that. I tell every Dominican this. I am so jealous of every Dominican that has that little mark there because I'm like, bro, like I can't even be like, look, look, I have it. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, I don't have it. I was born in the US and I like I didn't get that. The thing is, as long as you know what I'm talking about, I know. Yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Oh my goodness. I was like, if we don't have the vacunas, you're not Latino. But obviously yeah, I understand like they in say certain to me, man. You just you just no, made that me that work. You're Latino, it's okay. It's like the small little things mm -hmm. that make a big Exactly. Elki, I feel so bad because I voted for Elki the whole time. But like El Elki brought up the La Vacuna and she knew it and she has it. I'm probably gonna vote for Angela just because she says the most generic things. I think I'm gonna vote for Mas just because I think everyone else is going to and it's better to be safe than sorry. Again, Tomas. Tomas, and I'm so sorry. I I'm sorry, Tomas. I saved you last round, I can't save you again. The person eliminated this round. Oh, is... they were not do me. Tomas. I'm I so did it too. Sorry. He's out. I feel betrayed. Stabbed in the back. This is basically my family right now. I'm, I'm getting rid of them. I'm sorry. Do you want to continue the game? Give me a thumbs up if you want to go to round four. Give me a thumbs down if you think you caught them all and want to end the game now. I don't know what this is. Majority has voted, and we will end the game now. Can I say something real quick? Listen, if any of you guys are still the most, we're gonna have some problems. I swear on everything. <laughs> if the color turns green, you all win. If it's red, the mole is still in the game and you lost. In three, two, one. 
Go, 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 The game is over and the Latinos have won. That means that the winners will be receiving a cash prize and we're also going to be gifting them the Akintu Experience, where you'll get to pick your favorite basics from our new interactive apparel brand. Will the mole please raise your hand in three, two, one. Literally the first time. Okay, to keep on yeah. voting. My name in the game is Miguel Rosa. My actual name is Michael Rose. Oh. I am not a Latino, as you guys guessed. I studied abroad for a semester, and I lived with a bunch of guys that are all Mexican. Andre, I'm so sorry, bro. Oh, don't worry. Me too. I'm sorry. No one can speak that perfect. And that's why I thought I messed up because I had to prove myself, and I didn't even speak Spanish. And I was like, and this guy just starts spitting the most Portuguese <laughs> ever. <laughs> I'm happy for them. I hope there wasn't too much turmoil and like after that when they were like picking apart other Latinos. Even though Miguel is not a Latin, he has a Latin spirit. Latin is here, like in our minds and in your heart. It's about family, friends, fun, food. Latinos are everywhere and they can look like anything. If you don't speak Spanish, it doesn't matter. If you haven't tried this traditional food, it doesn't matter. That doesn't make you any less of a Latino. That just means we're gonna have to show you new things. That's all. As long as you know that you're Latino, that's all that matters. But yeah, see you guys. I hope you enjoyed that episode of On Men Out and thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As someone who was born and raised in Brazil, I could really relate to a lot of things that the cast member said. And I just really love the part when Andre just started speaking Portuguese because I could actually understand everything he said. It just made me miss my home country so much and want to visit again soon. And on Skillshare, there's actually a photography class that I've been taking from a Brazilian photographer who lives in Rio de Janeiro. The class is called Photography Basics Becoming a Professional Instagrammer by Paulo Del Valle. And in this class, he covers a lot of things like camera selection, how to take engaging Instagram photos, how to edit your photos, and my favorite part, building a strategy to get you noticed on Instagram, especially by brands. I highly recommend taking that class or one of the thousands other classes that Skillshare has to offer on topics like animation, writing, film, and other creative things. There's no ads on Skillshare, so there's no interruption while you're learning, and they're always coming out with premium classes that you can get for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. And for the first 1,000 subscribers to click on the link in the description, you'll get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership. So yeah, go to Skillshare, learn new things, have fun, and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. É isso aí, galera. Até a próxima. Tchau.